Doug Hefferman here, and this uh, pre-calculus lesson is on sums and differences of trig uh, angles, basically, but trig identities. So let's get uh, a couple new formulas you got to get uh, in your memory banks here, but let's uh, verify this identity first. Okay, typically I go from uh, the more complicated side to the easier side, and, and to me, this side looks a little bit, a uh, little bit more busy here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from right to left here. So I'm gonna take that secant of x and change them both to sines and cosines right there. See here, secant of x right here. And then I'm going to multiply this one by cosine over cosine to get a common denominator right there. And I get 1 minus cosine squared. And 1 minus cosine squared is actually sine squared. Okay? And then I wrote sine squared as here's my sine squared. Sine times sine is sine squared right there. And then notice this is tangent x right here. So it becomes sine tangent of x. And that's what was my goal. Okay? All right, let's uh, sums and differences for identities for, for cosines. Okay, cosine goes like this. When you're adding angles, Cosine of x plus y equals cosine x cosine y minus sine x sine y. I have a gimmick here in just a little bit. Cosine x minus y is the same thing, except there's a plus right here. Okay, and here's my gimmick for cosines. This one's the easiest one to remember. They go cosine cosine. It ends in sine sine, and the middle uh, uh, sine is always opposite what's inside the parentheses. So check this out. Starts with cosine, opposite sine, ends in sine. Cosine, opposite sine, ends in sine. And check it out. They, that spells out cosine right there. That's my way to remember uh, the sum of angles for cosine. All right? Sums and differences for, for sine. It goes like this. Um, uh, the sine of x, cosine of y, plus the same sign, cosine y, sine of x. Okay? Sine x, uh, cosine y, minus uh, cosine y, sine x. Okay, and how I remember this is um, uh, it goes sine cosine, and it's always the same sign in the middle, then it goes cosine sine. So basically, signs go uh, follow the pattern SCSCS uh, sine cosine, same sign, then cosine sine. Okay? All right, so um, uh, these ones I, I don't have a gimmick for. I wished I did. So uh, tangent of x plus y is tan x plus tan y over 1 minus tan x tan y. And then here tan of x minus y is tan x minus tan y over 1 plus tan x tan y. Okay, I tell my students if you can give me a nice gimmick, one that uh, makes it easy to remember, I'll give them some extra credit. So uh, I haven't gotten anything yet. So, boy, I'd, I'd appreciate it if, if I can get something from you guys. Just email me, jbullock at sanjuan.edu. That'd be great. Uh, so use the sum or difference identities to find the exact values of each trig function. So you cannot use a calculator. Okay, so the cosine of 735. Okay, well, you know that goes around the circles uh, a couple of times. It goes around two times because uh, 360 times 2 is 720. So this ends up being 15 degrees more than 720. So it's the same thing as cosine of 15 degrees. And then recognize that 15 is the same as 45 minus 30. So I'm going to replace that 15 as uh, cosine of 45 minus 30 and then use my cosine identity angle. Okay, this is cosine of 45 minus 30. So it goes cosine, cosine, opposite sine, sine, sine. So cosine of 45, cosine of 30 plus uh, sine of 45, sine of 30. It's always opposite that sine right there, and that's a minus right there, okay? Cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. Those things you got to remember, you guys. And so that's your answer right there, and you're going to see that answer or something very similar to that appear a lot with this stuff, you guys. So, okay? So here's number 2, cosine of 75 degrees. All right, you need to figure out uh, what plus what or what minus what of uh, 30, 60, 90s will give me 45 or 75, and, and that equals the same as cosine of 45 plus 30. Okay, so then use your cosine again. So cosine, cosine, minus sine, sine. Okay, that but this one you get uh, root 6 minus root 2 all over 4. Okay, how about the sine of uh, 105? Okay, you need to think what plus what gives me 105, or even what minus what equals 105. Well, 60 plus 45 equals 105. So I use my sine, so it goes SCSCS, so sine, cosine, same sine, and then it goes cosine, sine. So sine of 60, cosine of 45, plus cosine 60, sine of 45, and then, uh, and then you add them all together, and you get root 6 plus root 2 over 4. All right, sine of 15. Okay, well, that one's just like cosine of 15. That's going to be 45 minus 30 right there. So uh, I'm going to use my sine ratio, and I get uh, that as the answer. Okay, tangent of 195. Okay, well, tangent of 195 is the same as the tangent of 180 plus 15. 
uh, which is the, and and so that so uh, this takes me uh, to a 180 plus 15 tells me I'm in quadrant three. So the reference angle is 15 degrees in quadrant three, and since tangent is positive in quadrant three, then it's the same as the tangent of 15 that's in in uh, quadrant one. Okay, and then you can recognize that 15 again is 45 minus 30. So then you can use your your tangent uh, formula. Tan x minus tan y is tan x minus tan y over 1 plus tan x plus tan y. 1 plus uh, tan x tan y, sorry. Okay, and then plug them all in. Uh, and uh, let's see, this is 3 over 3 right here, so I made this uh, 3 over 3 minus root 3 over 3 to get common denominators. And again, this is 3 over 3, okay? And then uh, uh, you can see that those 3's cancel, and I'm left with uh, 3 minus root 3 over 3 plus root 3. And then we got to get rid of the radical in the denominator. I uh, don't like them in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, the denominator, okay, which is 3 minus root 3. Foil it out on top, and you just square them on bottom, you guys. So 3 squared is 9, root 3 squared is 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, and then 6 goes into all of those, so uh, I get 2 minus root 3. Okay, cotangent of 113 uh, pi over 12. Okay, you need to recognize that 113 pi over 12 is the same as 108 pi over 12, plus 5 pi over 12. Okay, 108 pi over 12 is 9 pi. Well, 9 pi is the same as pi, you guys. 9 pi is, let's see if I can show you here. Um, uh, if I had there and right here, okay, this is, whoops, let me get this down. Whoops, I didn't do it the right way. Sorry. Um, uh, okay, so this is 0, this is 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, this is all my odd pi. So here's 9 pi right there. So 5 pi over 12 is going to be down here in quadrant 3. Okay, notice cotangent's positive in quadrant 3, so I'm going to just take the cotangent of positive 5 pi over uh, 12. And 5 pi over 12 is pi over 4 plus pi over 6. A little bit of fraction skills right there. Okay, so it's going to be... Uh, and then so since my tangent, I only know my tangent ratios, well the cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So I'm just going to reciprocate uh, this right here, so that's going to get me this. And then I'm going to plug in pi over 4 and pi over 6. And when I do that, it's going to, you crank it out, you should get 2 minus root 3. Okay, and that's it.